You're so pretty. Ta-da! So before the video keeps going, I do want to clarify that yes, I was very nervous for Gogo -Go and I was scared because with all surgeries, there's just always a chance that the patient will not make it out because of the anesthesia and like I would look at him and he was still so tiny and fragile like a baby you know he's a baby he's a baby iguana and by this point like I was already so attached to him so I didn't want to lose him but I knew that he needed the surgery to be better so like I just had to deal with it and that's why like i'm a little bit not myself here in these clips i was nervous here and scared and the next day when i went to go drop him off so yeah i just wanted to you know clarify that so it is now the next day and gogo -Go is on his way to surgery my poodles that are here as well because they also have an appointment to go get groomed which they desperately need <laughs> you guys guess what so i was really worried about like gogo -Go, and i completely forgot to film this but the caterpillar that was about to turn into a butterfly from this video where I showed you guys how to make these terrariums. Like, if you've seen that video, you know that towards the end I showed this caterpillar that was living in one of the terrariums. And it was gonna be emerging these days. The crazy thing is that it emerged today. Yeah, um, I completely missed the process of the butterfly coming out. Which really sucks because I really wanted to film that and get like some really awesome footage. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool. So I found it like already like this. Like just chilling in the terrarium. Oh well. And um, yeah. Let's, let's go release it. It's a beautiful day to release a butterfly. <laughs> Damn. I'm a dreamy throwback. If you guys watch Grey's Anatomy, then you like, like you got that reference, right? Tell me y'all got it. So, when you come across a anole or a little house gecko or a spider or a bird that's trying to eat you, you know what? I want you to stand up to them, okay? Don't let any of them mess with you, okay? You stand up for yourself. So you have to be very brave, and that's my life advice to you, little butterfly. Be brave. <laughs> oh, you're not being brave. Be brave. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you find another beautiful or handsome butterfly that loves you and appreciates you and treats you well and that you both fall deeply in love with each other and make beautiful little babies. You're so pretty. I'm gonna call you Cupid because it fits. Let's put you down on this hibiscus flower. Okay, so Cupid didn't want the flower. Aw, look at Cupid go, you guys. Bye. I'll miss you. I believe in you. And you're, you're going to be great. Be brave. Don't forget it. Okay, love you. Bye. 
so i'm like on mother nature mode right now and <laughs> i decided i want to hang this hummingbird feeder up so <laughs> yeah i prepared the nectar for the inside earlier which is just sugar and water i, I looked for the recipe online so yeah this is it like i do see them like around my flowers and stuff but I want to provide like an extra food source for them. And who knows, maybe it will even attract more of them. Having all these cute little hummingbirds around would be so cute. So come to me, darlings. Come to me. This is me like baiting them to come into like the backyard. Okay, so uh, yeah. What an interesting morning. Now I'm going to go do some other things while I wait for go go you know keep myself busy so that like i'm not just thinking about him and worried so yeah i'll be back when it's time to go pick him up bye for now okay so it's time to go get go go it's 5.53 but like i'm supposed to be there at 6 30 but i do have to make like other stops so i'm leaving now to go see gogo -Go. how is gogo -Go doing i don't know i hope everything's okay here's gogo -Go. i got gogo -Go. Go gogo's okay i'm happy he's in here he's doing really good he's active he's awake i'm happy and he looks beautiful with just three legs okay he doesn't need the fourth leg hi gogo -Go. Hi, you look beautiful. I think he wants me to carry him, but like, I don't want to hurt him. And my babies are beautiful. They, they left them so beautiful. Look at them. Hey, babies. Hello. Hi. Hey, you. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> look at the cute little bows they put on them. So it's been a few days now, and here I am with gorgeous, handsome Gogo. Ta -da. So he is doing amazing. I'm very happy about that. So I didn't mention this the day that I went to go pick him up because I was just really happy that he was okay. But there actually was a complication the day of his surgery. I was told that after his surgery, um, he really wasn't waking up from the anesthesia. And then he like actually stopped breathing. They had to do chest compressions and they put him on oxygen. Uh, because oxygen is cold, you know, because of the tank and everything they had to take him off the oxygen and rewarm his body up because it had really brought down his body temp and after a little bit of battling they got him breathing again on his own then he like did it again like minutes later that was really scary for everyone there like he almost gave up on us you guys like go go you, you're not going anywhere where did you think you were off to no, go go, you're not allowed to leave, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, I want to thank you guys, actually, because I think that all your positive thoughts, your positive vibes, your sweet comments, messages, I read all you guys' comments. Like, I didn't have time to reply each and every one of you individually, which I really wish I had time to, but like, that's my bird. <laughs> but I did read every single one of you guys' comments, your messages, your emails. Some of you guys even emailed me. You guys, thank you so much for that. Thank you. I think it contributed to him still being here. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go. Say thank you. Ernie says thank you. Now you say thank you. Thank you. So that's the go-go -go updates for this video. He's still here, he's strong, and I'm really relieved. <sighs> he is actually falling asleep. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It is actually, <gasps> it's 4.20 a.m. <laughs> 4.20 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna go put him in his terrarium so that he can go to sleep, okay? I'll be back. Remember her? So this is Fiona. 
Fiona. It's been a while since I've shown her, but um, oh crap. <laughs> I don't really hold her that often or really any of my frogs or toads because like you're not supposed to hold them all the time. They're really the kind of pet that you admire from a distance. But like it's okay to hold them every once in a while. Just you know, wash your hands real good. Y'all should know that by now. I say it all the time. Yeah, I I wanted to give you guys a really quick update on her. I actually redid her enclosure recently. Like I kind of moved some stuff around, added some new things. Here it is. chubby recently and was having problems like jumping getting around in her enclosure so I had to start limiting her food supply which I hate doing because she's like a total foodie but you know what it's it's for health reasons Fiona so I'm sorry it had to be done she is looking so much better yeah it's a work in progress okay she's trying Okay, so now for the biggest question of the night. Where is Babette? Her spot is empty. Don't freak out, you guys. Babette is perfectly fine. She's actually molting right now, um, which is something they do early fall or before fall starts. So um, all her wing feathers gone and she's like growing new ones. She's like in a really bad mood, so that's why she's not here right now she would be giving me lots of attitude and i don't want to stress her out either i'm just like keeping her comfy so that's why she's not here but before she went into molt and everything i filmed something really fun with her so you guys will get babette content in this video so you guys already know that i sell these beautiful duck diapers in my online store so it's been a while since we've released like a new design new pattern i want more designs for my ducks to wear so after a few months of working on this we are ready to launch these new diaper designs yay so babette is the official duck diaper model in my online store i did have like a photo session where i photographed her with all of them you know i thought it would be really fun to have another fashion show with her modeling them like i did the first time when we first launched duck diapers so here is the new fashion show with the new designs
exist and like I thought it'd be a good idea for my roosters to also walk the runway. It didn't work out so well. forgot they like don't get along now <laughs> so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up i will talk to you guys in the comments down below and i love you guys bye so if you're wondering how i was able to get babette to walk that runway so effortlessly here's how She is a total foodie. She has a weakness for food. Just like Fiona.